This video has been made for doctors and other health staff working in small hospitals in developing countries and considers when and shows how to give oxygen. The video shows the recommended equipment and ways of giving oxygen to young children with acute respiratory infections who need oxygen therapy. In particular, it deals with the right way to use nasal prongs, nasal and nasopharyngeal catheters. Oxygen therapy can significantly reduce mortality from severe pneumonia in young children who show signs of hypoxia. It is important that oxygen is always available in hospitals so that it can be used when needed. However, oxygen is expensive and supplies may be limited. Therefore, it's important to use it efficiently and correctly. People giving oxygen must be able to recognize the clinical signs that oxygen is needed. Be able to choose the right equipment. And they must use the equipment correctly. In this first section, we will consider when to give oxygen to a child with an acute respiratory infection. The following clinical signs are used to recognize when oxygen is needed to treat a child. The presence of any one of these signs indicates a child needs oxygen. There are two main signs. First, central cyanosis. This is best seen by looking at the child's tongue in daylight or with light from an ordinary light bulb. Secondly, oxygen should be given if the child is not able to drink or has difficulty breastfeeding due to breathlessness. If oxygen supplies are limited, you should give priority to children with either of these two signs. If there is an ample supply of oxygen, you should also give oxygen to children with any of these clinical signs. In cases of severe chest in drawing, in cases of respiratory distress, or grunting with every breath if the young infant is less than two months old, or if more than 70 breaths a minute are recorded in a child aged two months up to five years. It's important that when oxygen is given to children with pneumonia, it is given continuously and not intermittently or for short periods.